Welcome to Storytime from Space, a project of the Global Space Education Foundation. To learn how you can support this exciting project, please visit storytimefromspace.com. Let's try and get myself situated here. Today, we're going to read Totality by Jeffrey Bennett. It's a really cool picture on the front. A total eclipse. So, Totality, an Eclipse Guide in Rhyme and Science by Jeffrey Bennett, a big kid science book. All right, so we're preparing for the 2023 and 2024 eclipses. The 2023 eclipse goes across the uh, West Coast United States, and it's only an annular eclipse, which we'll learn about later. So it's not doesn't have that totality, that total effect that you'll get in 2024 as it comes up through Texas all the way across the Midwest and Northeast of our country. And uh, in 2017, I had the chance to see uh, another eclipse in the United States, and uh, it was totally amazing to be in that area of totality. So we're going to read this book. I'm going to go through the uh, the rhyme, and uh, we'll then come back and we'll talk about each of the pages as we go through. Right. So today's the day, it's finally come. I'll see a diamond on the sun. It happens somewhere almost every year, but rarely is that somewhere right here. We're talking a total eclipse of the sun, an incredible sight, second to none. In ancient times, it caused quite a fright when people saw daytime turn into night. Today, we know it's a great cosmic dance and predict its movements far in advance. Three dancers there are, Earth, Moon, and Sun. When they line up, the eclipse has begun. This idea will become much more clear knowing Earth orbits the sun once each year, while the moon orbits Earth, showing phase after phase, repeating each 29 and one-half days. These are orbits are tilted, which helps to explain why eclipses do not form a monthly refrain. An eclipse of the sun can only arise when new moon and two orbits all coincide. This happens just about twice every year, and each of those times an eclipse will appear. But only for those who are in the right place, and it's not always total, because we're dealing with space. If the moon is off-center or slightly too far, your eclipse will be partial or just annular. And even when it's all as it should be, you must be in the shadow of totality. The shadow is round and not very wide. Along a thin path, it rapidly glides. So if you'd like to see a total eclipse, find a good map and plan out your trip. You can use eclipse glasses to protect your eyes, but don't take them off till the moment arrives. That's when you'll see the brief diamond ring and then the corona, a spectacular thing. You'll look up in the sky ah, to see the stars in the day until, much too soon, the moon's out of the way. So be there with clear skies, and all is now set for a breathtaking view that you'll never forget. And that's totality. All right, today we are going to demonstrate the basic ideas behind eclipses using our own bodies. Teachers, this use of our body is an example of what is called kinesthetic astronomy, created by Dr. Sherilyn Morrow. All right, so to do this, we're going to use our body, like we said. I'm going to use my face. My head is the sun. You guys will do the same. My fists will represent the Earth and the moon. So the Earth orbits around the sun once per year. The moon orbits around the Earth about once per month, basically a moon. And this happens all the time. So an eclipse occurs when the sun 
the Earth and the Moon all line up in a line. When the Moon passes directly between the Sun and the Earth, this causes a solar eclipse. When the Earth passes between the Sun and the Moon, this causes a lunar eclipse. So, gosh, I'm going to move my Earth and my Sun correctly here. So right now, would there be an eclipse? Or how about now? Let's start over here again. Get my Earth moving around. And how about right now? Is there an eclipse here? What do you see on Earth from this point? Because I'm the sun. You guys can do this too. So pretend your head is the sun. And it's, you know, a bright, shiny smile. Then take one fist to make it the Earth. And take the other fist to make it the moon. And then orbit the moon around the Earth. And stop when the moon is right in front of your face. At this point, the light from the sun is casting a shadow on the moon onto the Earth. So the Earth sees a, and a total eclipse. Teachers, you might want to pair up the younger kids to do this together. It takes a bit of practice. Great job. Now the really exciting news is that we have two great opportunities to see this cosmic dance for real. First is on October 2023. It will be what we call an annual eclipse, in which the moon is a little bit too far from the Earth, and the Earth moon is not quite far enough from the sun. So you see a little ring of sunlight around the moon. Then the big event is on April 8th, 2024. A lot of us in the United States, Mexico, and Canada will see a total solar eclipse. But the sun's light is totally blocked out, so you'll be able to see stars and planets in the daytime, along with the sun's spectacular corona. If you live anywhere near the path of totality, I hope you'll find a way to get to the path so you can see it. And if you're wondering what you'll see from up here on the ISS, we'll actually be able to see the moon's shadow racing across the Earth below, probably the coolest vantage point. Make sure to watch the totality book reading on storytimefromspace.com. Download the free Totality app that is on this site as well. You'll also want eclipse glasses so you can safely look toward the sun, but be sure you get them from a reputable source. The American Astronomical Society has a web page listing reputable vendors. If you get the Totality book, it comes with two pairs of eclipse glasses. Thank you for joining me from Storytime from Space. Bye from the ISS. Thank you for joining us for Storytime from Space. We hope you enjoyed our story today from the International Space Station. We hope you'll join us again soon for another book reading or for one of our science experiments. Until next time, we look forward to reading together again soon.